Today we're making one of my favorite summer cocktails. It's a strawberry Campari spritz. It's so refreshing. It's kind of got that signature bitter orange Campari vibe, but then I've sweetened it up with a homemade strawberry syrup. We're gonna add a little bit of bubbly, little bit of sparkling water, and uh, yeah. So let's get started with the strawberry syrup. So let's get st <laughs> so let's get started with the strawberry syrup, shall we? So it's a very simple syrup. It's basically like your typical simple syrup that we all know and love from cocktail making. It's equal parts of sugar to water, and we're giving this one flavor and a beautiful, beautiful red color by adding some fresh strawberries inside. So you just gotta haul them, and then we're gonna chop them a little bit. Fun fact, you can totally save the tops of your strawberries and use these in smoothies because it counts as like a green thing. You heard it here, folks. Don't be fussy about how you slice them. You want them to give off their strawberry goodness, so quarters are good. Rough chunks, don't sweat it. Just get them in there. That's the hardest part of the recipe. Chopping the strawberries. So now we just want to get these into a saucepan. A cup of sugar. Oh my gosh, it already smells so good. And a cup of water, that's it. So I've got the heat on high, you wanna bring it up to a boil, and once it's boiling, like those big nice bubbles, you're gonna lower it so that the bubbles go smaller. We're gonna simmer for about 15 minutes till the syrup gets really nice and red and the strawberries are really nice and soft. That's when you know it's done. This is what you're gonna end up with, this gorgeous red syrupy strawberry love. Now we've just gotta strain. So you just wanna let this cool down, and then once it's at room temperature, you can put it in a jar or anything you want, anything that you have that you can cover, and keep it in the fridge until you need it. A funnel is your best friend, by the way. This would have been a hot mess on my counters without it. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna go into my glass with some ice. A good amount, yeah, I say that's good. You can use a stemmed cocktail glass, like a nice um, goblet if you want, but I'm all stemless because they fit in the dishwasher. And then I want three quarters of an ounce of Campari. Oh my gosh, guys, perfect pour, just perfect pour. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. And then I want an ounce of my strawberry syrup. It's gonna make it nice and sweet. Beautiful. Then I'm gonna go in with some bubbly. Oh yeah. Should I measure it? Should I measure it? I mean, Let's go an ounce. And you gotta pour this slow because otherwise, obviously it's just gonna bubble. I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna go two. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I want just a little splash of sparkling water. It's gonna lighten it up, just a little, just like that. Look at this color, guys. This is gorgeous. I want to see a cute little strawberry. Make a nice little slip. Like that. And let's do a little basil. A little basil. And what I want to do is I'm going to rub the basil. I'm going to bruise it a little bit in my fingers. And I'm just going to rub it along the rim of my glass. 
And so what that's going to do is every sip I take, it's going to have that little bit of perfume of basil. And I'm just going to drop it in. Nothing fancy. And tuck it on the side a little bit, a little bit. That'll do. Okay, wow, just that bit of basil just hits really nicely. Oh my God, I wish you guys can try that. Cheers guys, this is fantastic. This is like summer in a glass. It's a little bit bitter with the Campari, but it's countered by the sweetness and the fruitiness of the strawberries. And then that herby note of the basil, mm, with the bubbles. Well, done my summer plans. Cheers guys. <laughs> <laughs>